Honda is harnessing the power of the universe right now. They're taking the EV company model and telling Elon to shove it because they are using the most abundant element on the planet Earth to power their latest cars. Yes, hydrogen, baby. And they're doing it with an unlikely American accomplice. Look, Honda is no newcomer to hydrogen technology. In fact, they've been at it for a very long time. So is BMW and so is Toyota. And while those other companies do have production cars on the road that run on hydrogen, which are only available in California and a few other countries because of hydrogen infrastructure, Honda seems to be aiming to do more than just dabbling. So who is Honda's partner in this hydrogen scheme? Well, none other than good old General Motors, the company that's brought us badass V8s, comfy caddies, and one of the worst EVs of all time. Hello darkness, my old friend. Okay, yeah, that was a little harsh. Uh, it was revolutionary, but it was just way before its time. But that's not important anymore because these two may just save all of us from the dystopian EV hell we are all just sort of being forced to accept. And all this excitement is ironically all starting with one long boring ass name, Fuel Cell System Manufacturing LLC. But don't worry because all it means is Honda plus GM equals a brand new hydrogen fuel cell. So what is a hydrogen fuel cell you ask? Well, I'm no expert because I'm no nerd. But I am. Put very simply, hydrogen and oxygen are fed through a catalyst that splits the hydrogen into protons and electrons. The electrons are fed through a circuit that produces electricity, and the byproduct of the rest of all that junk, like heat and oxygen, is water. No smoke, no fumes, just agua and electricity. Oh, phew. <laughs> no wonder I didn't pass chem in high school. But luckily, the FCSM team is much smarter than me, and they found a way to make their new hydrogen fuel cells more efficient, less expensive, and more reliable than ever freaking before, folks. You see, General Honda, which is what I prefer to call this little collab now, created this little magic hydrogen box that only is about the size of your average four-cylinder engine. They claim that it produces over 77 kilowatts of power or 103 horsepower for all my fellow Americans out there. And before you leave a comment about how your 89 Accord makes more horses than this pathetic little hydrogen duffel bag thing, I'll have you know that this fuel cell can be compounded multiple times over with several units working together to make huge torque and big power, which is exactly why the FCSM team are gonna put this technology into industrial and commercial vehicles like semis, loading trucks, generators, and believe it or not, a new Honda CRV. More on that in just a sec, because this could literally replace the diesel industry and its chokehold on long haul transportation. And by <coughs> choke, I mean, well, when you get stuck huffing fumes because you can't pass that slow ass semi on the freeway, or just guys rolling coal. But wait, why the f didn't we do this earlier? And where the hell has this tech been? Well, like your stepdad, it's been around, but usually ends up in a dumpster somewhere. And hydrogen power's midlife crisis happened for many reasons. Things like expensive manufacturing due to the platinum catalyst required to run them. The lack of hydrogen fuel stations across the country. Like seriously, it's bad. And hell, even storing the hydrogen is a risky hassle with its tendency to ignite and freaking blow up. Mm. And if you want consumers to buy your stuff, which by the way, we've linked to all our merch in the pin first comment, gotta make it attractive. Guys, real quick, go check out the Ideal Shop. We got awesome hats, sweatshirts, and a bunch of Ideal tees so that you can support Ideal fam. Tees like this one, a limited edition run of our best-selling Save the Manuals t-shirt. Now we just dropped a new five panel hat, a new phone case, and if you're looking to keep yourself warm in the garage, no, we don't have pink slippers, but we do have the Ideal Tina hoodie. It's back. Each one of these adds five XP to your mechanical ability. So guys, with that, click the link down in the description, go snag some swag, support the Ideal fam, and now, to the show. Plus, hydrogen, it's not cheap. You could spend around 100 bucks filling up your tanks just to drive to a destination with literally no hydrogen stations in the entire state. And I thought it was hard enough to get diesel. Although, in places where there are more stations, it's more comparable to the price of gas. You can fill up the Toyota Muria, for instance, for around 50 bucks. Lastly, here's the big kicker. Messi! EVs. Just when the industry, investors, and even George Bush for some reason was ready to double down on hydrogen, guess who stepped up to the plate in the bottom of the ninth? Who? Elon Musk. Yep, the EV wave hit harder than Barry Bonds in 2001. 
end. The cost efficiency game was over just like that. That is until now, where two automotive giants, General Honda, are reviving the dusty skeleton hydrogen power once again. And the duo came back with all the goods, fixing the production cost issue and reliability factors that held it back all those years ago. In fact, they said these units cost only one third of the manufacturing money that the old ones needed. And for GM in particular, this is a full circle moment as they actually built the first hydrogen powered vehicle back in 1966. Next thing I know, you'll tell me that they put a man on the moon. Oh, uh, disregard that. Anyway, Honda says they wanna sell 2000 of these fuel cells for uses of all kinds. But more importantly, about a quarter of these 2000 units will be powering the new version of the Soccer Mom Express the CRV. This thing is actually supposed to come out this year too. But if you actually want one, well, you might actually have to just pack up real quick and move your entire life to California because that's the only place you could lease Honda's latest attempt at a hydrogen car, the Clarity Fuel Cell. <laughs> Sounds like an overpriced blended drink at a coffee stand. But unlike the beverage, this isn't some cheap attention grabbing business venture. It's a statement of intent. It's about proving that hydrogen has a vital role to play in our transportation future alongside battery electric vehicles by addressing the challenges that have held hydrogen back. They're not just aiming to save the internal combustion engine, they're working to ensure it evolves into something cleaner, more efficient, and infinitely more sustainable. To be clear, this hydrogen fuel cell is not an internal combustion engine. Although that is a real thing. JCB, the heavy equipment manufacturer, has been building and using them for years. And BMW gave us the Hydrogen 7 back in the 2000s that was just like a regular gas powered drivetrain. It just burned hydrogen instead. Work is being done in that department to try and find a solution to make that technology more viable. But big brands like Honda, GM, Toyota, BMW, and several others see a future where a one size fits all drivetrain solution isn't necessarily the answer. Obviously, the biggest problem with an EV is their fuel source. They require huge batteries that hurt the environment to build and recycle, and most of the energy we use to charge them does not come from renewable sources. So imagine that you could take the same raw materials required for the battery you use in your Tesla, for instance, and instead use them to build 10 smaller batteries to be paired with a hydrogen fuel cell, or even a combustion engine, or even, and you can call me crazy here, the three of them combined. It's possible, people, and men and women that are as smart as Trav are actually working on it. And the message from General Honda is very clear. The road to zero emission is not a one-way street. It's a broad highway with lanes for battery electric, hydrogen fuel cell, and perhaps technologies we've yet to imagine. I mean, have you seen the new Mazda rotary system? Well, go check out that bit up here or whatever YouTube recommends you watch next down here. I'm Brad, the Financial Cowboy. This is Ideal. Like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and promise me one thing, keep living, the ideal lifestyle.